Lastly, from Hanyang University, we have Professor Hyun Sang Shin, who will talk about collective impact. Please welcome Professor Hyun Sang Shin with a big hand. Hello, my name is Hyun Shin, and I'm a professor at Hanyang University, and also serve as Ashoka U Change Leader and Editor-in-Chief of Stanford Social Innovation Review, Korean edition. I'm also founder and CEO of Impact Research Lab, which provides impact consulting service to foundations, NGOs, social ventures, and for-profit companies. In the past, the sole purpose of business is to maximize profit. Only financial performance, such as stock price, was important as it can make the shareholders happy. In 2019, Business Roundtable, however, famous CEOs from world-class companies like Amazon, Apple, and GM announced that shareholder value is not everything. They said that companies should care about the welfare of stakeholders. Maybe you tried at least once chocolates like sneakers and M&Ms. Mars is the company which produces and sells those brands, making lots of money, say over 30 billion US dollars per year. In collaboration with Oxford Side Business School, they developed an interesting concept called EOM, or Economics of Mutuality. The key idea is very close to the growing the pie or pie economics proposed by Professor Alex Edmonds. If a company can strengthen the ecosystem which it belongs to, then strengthening the ecosystem will make the company more sustainable. Maybe you heard about ESG, environmental, social, and governance. This means that now even investors care about non-financial information when they make investing decisions. There are so many reasons why modern companies should pay attention to social and environmental values. One step further, people now think about business as a force for good. As Professor Chris Marcus explained, B-Lab certifies companies which try to be better for the society. As such, people think that companies can do a lot for the society. Surely, companies have lots of money these days. But beyond that, they have strong capabilities and expertise which can be used to make the world a better place for the humanity. This is an important message for business people. As you all know, there are so many social problems ranging from poverty, jobless, disease, pollution, educational gap, and so on. UN proposed SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals calling for innovative and impactful, impactful solutions, entrepreneurship, and collaboration. Let's talk about the innovative solution first. According to Stanford Social Innovation Review, we can define a social innovation as a novel solution to a social and or environmental problem that is more effective, efficient, sustainable, or just than existing solutions. After my talk, you will enjoy great examples of social innovations or innovative solutions offered through four wonderful team's presentations. Such solutions aim to make impact or meaningful changes for environment and the society. Impact can be defined, measured, and managed following the consensus of IMP, Impact Management Project initiated by world-famous organizations such as World Bank, OECD, UNDP, and UNGC. Second, we need people with strong entrepreneurship for the innovative and impactful solutions to work in the real world. Bill Drayton, founder of Ashoka, calls such entrepreneurship social entrepreneurship. According to him, it is not sufficient to give marginalized people fish or teach them how to fish. That is not enough. 
We need people who revolutionize the entire fishing industry, making system level changes. In 2016, people gathered at Stanford University to discuss how to utilize entrepreneurship to address global social problems. As you can see from this picture, Mr. Obama, a political leader, and Mr. Zuckerberg, a business leader, and few young leaders from social sector talked about collaboration to make impactful changes. Surely, collaboration is usually good. However, it does not always lead to a satisfactory outcome. We should be very smart to leverage the power of collaboration. In 2011, Kramer and Kania proposed an idea of collective impact in Stanford Social Innovation Review, identifying five components for smart collaboration. This article has been downloaded over one million times, showing people's interest and desire for smart collaboration. One interesting example of collective impact is Tree Planet, a social venture which finds solutions to plant more trees to address environmental problems and climate change issues. The initial idea behind Tree Planet was to develop a game in which you plant and raise a virtual tree. When it is fully grown, you can choose an actual deforested uh, state location, perhaps a part of Amazon River or the desert of Mongolia, where a real tree will be planted. Then a local NGO plants a real tree on the site of your choice, takes a picture of sapling, and sends it to you via social media. You can leave a message for your tree, and your family and friends can like it and share it, which will make you proud and happy. The funding comes from for-profit companies, such as Hyundai Motors and Hanwha Energy, who can put their logos on in-game items, such as fertilizer bags or watering cans. The land comes from local governments because they like the idea of getting lots of trees planted at no cost to them. In five years, Tree Planet helped to plant more than half a million trees around the world. They collaborate with famous sponsors such as Sinan Bank, Toyota, and ING, and worked with local and global partners such as UN, UNICEF, and World Vision. One key to the company's success was its win-win model, in which no participant or stakeholder had to sacrifice. As you can see from the picture on the right side, every participant can take something away. Company can get good brand image and reputation. NGOs can get funds for their own business. Local government can get lots of trees. And the users can have fun and rewarding experience. Now, they are diversifying their method to increase participation and get even more trees planted. They don't stop and keep innovating their solutions. They also try to find new solutions to plant more trees and make bigger impacts. For the past 10 years, they planted around 1 million trees. Maybe not that impressive number to some of you. However, don't forget that around 10 young people with very little money could achieve such outcomes. That is something, I think. And if they can do that, then you can do it too. Why not? And this is why LG Electronics came up with the idea of Life is Good Award, I think. As I mentioned earlier, to achieve SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals, we need innovative and impactful solutions, entrepreneurship, and collaboration. And Life's Good Award can be a platform where entrepreneurs with innovative and impactful solutions can be identified and supported, and where they can be connected with other brave entrepreneurs as well as ambitious organizations which have resources, knowledge, and commitment to solve a certain social problem, making profound impact on the lives of people and the health of the planet. Last year, Kania and his colleagues published a Stanford Social Innovation Review an article on collective impact 2.0. According to them, collective impact can be defined as a network of community members, organizations, and institutions that advance equity by learning together, aligning, and integrating the, their actions to achieve population and system level change. I hope 
Life is Good Award can be a powerful medium to promote and facilitate collective impact by forming a community of innovative and impactful entrepreneurs and helping them work together for environment and the society. Thank you.